Push. Noun. A short. Directed application of force. An act of pushing. Verb. To apply a force to. An object. Such that it moves away from the person or thing applying the force. Captured. Verb. To take control of. To seize by force or stratagem. Graduated. Verb. To be recognized by a school or university as having completed the requirements of a degree studied. At the institution. Adjective. In steps. Imply. Verb. Of a proposition. To have as a necessary consequence. Fraud. Noun. The crime of stealing or otherwise illegally obtaining money by use of deception tactics. Verb. To defraud. Interpret. Verb. To explain or tell the meaning of. To translate orally into intelligible or familiar language or terms applied especially to language. But also to dreams. Signs. Conduct. Mysteries. Etc. Ambition. Noun. Eager or inordinate desire for some object that confers distinction. As preferment. Honor. Superiority. Political power. Or literary fame. Desire to distinguish oneself from other people. Verb. To seek after ambitiously or eagerly. To covet. Emission. Noun. Something which is emitted or sent out. Issue. Dietary. Noun. A regulated diet. Adjective, of, or relating to diet. Neither. Adverb. Similarly not. Pronoun. Not either one of two. Conjunction. Not either. Used with nor. Pudding. Verb. To place something somewhere. Noun. Instigation or incitement. Enticement. Excel. Verb. To surpass someone or something. To be better or do better than someone or something. Shampoo. Noun. A traditional Indian and Persian body massage given after pouring warm water over the body and rubbing it with extracts from herbs. Verb. To wash one's own hair with shampoo. Railing. Verb. To travel by railway. Verb. To complain violently. Against. About. Verb. Of a liquid. To gush. Flow. Noun. A fence or barrier consisting of one or more horizontal rails and vertical supports. Blossom. Noun. A flower. Especially one indicating that a fruit tree is fruiting. A mass of such flowers. Verb. To have. Or open into. Blossoms. To bloom. Command. Noun. An order to do something. Verb. To order. Give orders. To compel or direct with authority. Esteem. Noun. Favorable regard. Verb. To set a high value on. To regard with respect or reverence. Limitations. Noun. The act of limiting or the state of being limited. Here. Noun. Abstract. This place. This location. Adjective. Filler after a noun or demonstrative pronoun. Solely for emphasis. Adverb. Location. In. On. Or at this place. Interjection. Used semi-assertively to offer something to the listener. Candles. Noun. A light source consisting of a wick embedded in a solid. Flammable substance such as wax. Tallow. Or paraffin. Verb. To observe the growth of an embryo inside. An egg. Using a bright light source. Quite. Adverb. Heading. To the greatest extent or degree. Completely. Entirely. Interjection. Indicates agreement. Exactly so. Meanwhile. Noun. The time between two events. Adverb. During the time that something is happening. Fit. Noun. The degree to which something fits. Verb. To be suitable for. Adjective. Suitable. Proper. Respectful. Adjective, marked or characterized by respect. Quota. Noun, a proportional part or share. The share or proportion assigned to each in a division. Impressive. Adjective, making, or tending to make, a positive impression, having power to impress. Farm. Noun, a place where agricultural and similar activities take place. Especially the growing of crops or the raising of livestock. Verb. 
to work on a farm, especially in the growing and harvesting of crops. Downstream. Verb. To stream downward. Adjective. Lower down. In relation to a river. Stream or flow of fluid. Adverb. Following the path of a river or stream. Realistic. Adjective. Expressed or represented as being accurate, practicable, or not idealistic. Override. Noun. A mechanism. Device or procedure used to counteract an automatic control. Verb. To ride across or beyond something. Racket. Noun. A racket. An implement with a handle connected to a round frame strung with wire. Sinew. Or plastic cords. And used to hit a ball. Such as in tennis or a birdie in badminton. Verb. To strike with. Or as if with. A racket. Busy. Noun. A police officer. Verb. To make somebody busy or active. To occupy. Adjective. Crowded with business or activities. Having a great deal going on. Scene. Noun. The location of an event that attracts attention. Verb. To exhibit as a scene. To make a scene of. To display. Shift. Noun. A modifier key whose main function is shifting between two or more functions of any of certain. Other keys. Usually by pressing shift and the other button simultaneously. Noun. A type of women's undergarment. A slip. Verb. Sometimes figurative. To move from one place to another. To redistribute. Assistant. Noun. Someone who is present. A bystander. A witness. Adjective. Having a subordinate or auxiliary position. Poem. Noun. A literary piece written in verse. Most. Noun. The greatest amount. Adverb. Forms the superlative of many adjectives. Pronoun. The greater part of a group. Especially a group of people. Public. Noun. The people in general. Regardless of membership of any particular group. Adjective. Able to be seen or known by everyone. Open to general view. Happening without concealment. Glitches. Noun. A problem affecting function. Verb. Especially of machines. To experience an intermittent. Unexpected. Malfunction. Monster. Noun. A terrifying and dangerous creature. Verb. To make into a monster. To categorize as a monster. To demonize. Adjective. Very large. Worthy of a monster. Simultaneous. Adjective. Happening at the same moment. Funnel. Noun. A utensil in the shape of an inverted hollow cone terminating in a narrow pipe. For channeling liquids or granular material. Typically used when transferring said substances from any container into ones with a significantly smaller opening. Verb. To use a funnel. Instruction. Noun. The act of instructing, teaching, or furnishing with information or knowledge. Dimensions. Noun. A single aspect of a given thing. Verb. To mark. Cut or shape something to specified dimensions. Easily. Adverb. Comfortably, without discomfort or anxiety. Angler. Noun. A person who fishes with a hook and line. Canister. Noun. A cylindrical or rectangular container usually of lightweight metal. Plastic or laminated pasteboard used for holding a dry product. As tea. Crackers. Flour. Matches. Verb. To pack into a canister. Cheating. Verb. To violate rules in order to gain advantage from a situation. Noun. An act of deception. Fraud. Trickery. Imposture. Imposition or infidelity. Adjective. Unsporting or underhand. Milk. Noun. A white liquid produced by the mammary glands of female mammals to nourish their young. From certain animals, especially cows. It is also called dairy milk and is a common food for humans as a beverage or used to produce. Various dairy products such as butter, cheese, and yogurt. Detailed. Verb. To explain in detail. Adjective. Characterized by attention to detail and thoroughness of treatment. Parse. Noun. 
an act of parsing, verb, to resolve, a sentence, etc., into its elements, pointing out the several parts of speech, and their relation to each other by agreement or government, to analyze and describe grammatically. Elite. Noun. A special group or social class of people which have a superior intellectual, social or economic status as the elite of society. Adjective. Of high birth or social position. Aristocratic or patrician. Driver. Noun. One who drives something, in any sense of the verb to drive. Crab. Noun. A crustacean of the infraorder Brachiura. Having five pairs of legs. The foremost of which are in the form of claws. And a carapace. Verb. To fish for crabs. People. Noun. Used as plural of person. A body of human beings considered generally or collectively. A group of two or more persons. Verb. To stock with people or inhabitants. To fill as with people. To populate. Noun. An individual. Usually a human being. Max. Noun. An extreme. A great extent. Verb. Usually without. To reach the limit. To reach the maximum. Adjective. Maximum. Maximal. Noun. The highest limit. Box. Noun. Senses relating to a three-dimensional object or space. Verb. To place inside a box. To pack in one or more boxes. Hired. Verb. To obtain the services of in return for fixed payment. Share. Noun. A portion of something. Especially a portion given or allotted to someone. Verb. To give part of what one has to somebody else to use or consume. Stomachache. Noun. A pain in the abdomen. Often caused by indigestion. The pain is usually lower than the stomach and related to the intestines. Spent. Verb. To pay out. Money. Adjective. Consumed. Used up. Exhausted. Depleted. Soldier. Noun. A member of an army. Of any rank. Verb. To continue steadfast. To keep striving. Parallelized. Verb. To make parallel. To each other. Sincere. Adjective. Genuine. Meaning what one says or does. Heartfelt. Breaking. Verb. To separate into two or more pieces. To fracture or crack. By a process that cannot easily be reversed for reassembly. Noun. The act by which something is broken. Invaluable. Adjective. Of great value. Costly. Precious. Priceless. Organ. Noun. A larger part of an organism. Composed of tissues that perform similar functions. Verb. To supply with an organ or organs. To fit with organs. Cousin. Noun. The child of a person's uncle or aunt. A first cousin. Reality. Noun. The state of being actual or real. Breastfeed. Verb. To feed. A baby. Milk via the breasts. To suckle. To nurse. Baby. Noun. A very young human. Particularly from birth to a couple of years old or until walking is fully mastered. Verb. To coddle. To pamper somebody like an infant. Adjective. Of a child. Very young. Of the age when he or she would be termed a baby or infant. Innkeeper. Noun. The person responsible for the running of an inn, usually the proprietor. Release. Noun. The event of setting. Someone or something. Free. E.g. hostages. Slaves. Prisoners. Caged animals. Hooked or stuck mechanisms. Verb. To let go. Of. To cease to hold or contain. Afford. Verb. To incur. Stand. Or bear without serious detriment. As an act which might under other circumstances be injurious. With an auxiliary. As can. Could. Might. Etc. To be able or rich enough. Prove. Verb. To proofread. Noun. The process of dough proofing. Verb. To demonstrate that something is true or viable. To give proof for. Clearance. Noun. The act of clearing or something, such as a space, cleared. Keeps. Noun. 
the main tower of a castle or fortress. Located within the castle walls. Verb. To continue in. A course or mode of action. Not to intermit or fall from. To uphold or maintain. Noun. Keeping. Enjoyed. Verb. To receive pleasure or satisfaction from something. Spell. Noun. Words or a formula supposed to have magical powers. Verb. To put under the influence of a spell. To affect by a spell. To bewitch. To fascinate. To charm. Barely. Adverb. Degree. By a small margin. Moving. Verb. To change place or posture. To go. In any manner. From one place or position to another. Noun. The relocation of goods. Adjective. That moves or move. Briefly. Adverb. Manner. In a brief manner. Summarily. Beverages. Noun. A liquid to consume. A drink. Such as tea. Coffee. Liquor. Beer. Milk. Juice. Or soft drinks. Usually excluding water. Providers. Noun. One who, or that which, provides a service, commodity, or the means for subsistence. Million. Numeral, long and short scales. The cardinal number 1 million to 106, a thousand thousand. Excite. Verb, to stir the emotions of. Abuse. Noun. Improper treatment or usage. Application to a wrong or bad purpose. An unjust. Corrupt or wrongful practice or custom. Greengrocer. Noun. A person who sells fresh vegetables and fruit, normally from a relatively small shop. Restriction. Noun. The act of restricting, or the state of being restricted. Pull. Noun. An act of pulling. Applying force. Verb. To apply a force to. An object. So that it comes toward the person or thing applying the force. Interjection. Command used by a target shooter to request that the target be released, launched. Policewoman. Noun. A female police officer. Editing. Verb. To change a text. Or a document. Noun. An act or instance of something being edited. Outlet. Noun. A vent or similar passage to allow the escape of something. Fraud. Noun. The crime of stealing or otherwise illegally obtaining money by use of deception tactics. Verb. To defraud. Positivity. Noun. The condition of being positive, in all senses, positivism. Optimism. Removed. Verb. To move something from one place to another. Especially to take away. Adjective. Separated in time. Space. Or degree. Proportions. Noun. A quantity of something that is part of the whole amount or number. Verb. To divide into proper shares. To apportion. Noun. A person's figure. Harmlessly. Adverb. In a harmless manner. Finished. Verb. To complete. Something. Adjective. Processed or perfected. After. Adjective. Later. Second. Of two. Next. Following. Subsequent. Adverb. Behind. Later in time. Following. Preposition. Subsequently to. Following in time. Later than. Conjunction. Signifies that the action of the clause it starts takes place before the action of the other clause. Siblings. Noun. A person who shares a parent. One's brother or sister who one shares a parent with. Lottery. Noun. A scheme for the distribution of prizes by lot or chance. Especially a gaming scheme in which one or more tickets bearing particular numbers drop prizes. The other tickets are blanks. Baking. Verb. With person as subject. To cook. Something. In an oven. Noun. An action in which something is baked. Adjective. That bakes. Cypress. Noun. An evergreen coniferous tree with flattened shoots bearing small scale-like leaves. Whose dark foliage is sometimes associated with mourning. In family Cupressaceae. Especially the genera Cupressus and Camisiparus. Landmarks. Noun. An object that marks the boundary of a piece of land. 
usually a stone or a tree. Verb. To officially designate a site or building as a landmark. Beings. Noun. A living creature. Dentist. Noun. A medical doctor who specializes in dentistry. Encourages. Verb. To mentally support. To motivate. Give courage, hope or spirit. Charm. Noun. An object. Act or words believed to have magic power. Usually carries a positive connotation. Verb. To seduce. Persuade or fascinate someone or something. Decisions. Noun. The act of deciding. Verb. To defeat an opponent by a decision of the judges. Rather than by a knockout. Medicines. Noun. A substance which specifically promotes healing when ingested or consumed in some way. Verb. To treat with medicine. Observed. Verb. To notice or view, especially carefully or with attention to detail. Cooks. Noun. A person who prepares food. Verb. To prepare. Food. For eating by heating it. Often by combining it with other ingredients. Verb. To make the noise of the cuckoo. Verb. To throw. Backward. Noun. The state behind or past. Adjective. Of motion. In the direction towards the back. Adverb. Of motion. In the direction towards the back. Backwards. Breaths. Noun. The act or process of breathing. Concise. Verb. To make concise. To abridge or summarize. Adjective. Brief. Yet including all important information. Prescribed. Verb. To order. A drug or medical device. For use by a particular patient. Under licensed authority. Cage. Noun. An enclosure made of bars. Normally to hold animals. Verb. To confine in a cage. To put into and keep in a cage. Haven. Noun. A harbor or anchorage protected from the sea. Verb. To put into. Or provide with a haven. Hamburger. Noun. A hot sandwich consisting of a patty of cooked ground beef or a meat substitute. In a sliced bun. Sometimes also containing salad vegetables. Condiments. Or both. Sleep. Verb. To rest in a state of reduced consciousness. Downtown. Noun. The main business part of a city or town. Usually located at or near its center. Adjective. Of. Relating to. Or situated in the central business district. Adverb. In or towards the central business district. Curtain. Noun. A piece of cloth covering a window. Bed. Etc. To offer privacy and keep out light. Verb. To cover. A window. With a curtain. To hang curtains. Paste. Noun. A soft moist mixture. In particular. Verb. To stick with paste. To cause to adhere by or as if by paste. Largest. Adjective. Of considerable or relatively great size or extent. Pulse. Noun. A normally regular beat felt when arteries are depressed. Caused by the pumping action of the heart. Realize. Verb. To make real. To convert from the imaginary or fictitious into reality. To bring into real existence. Spends. Noun, amount of money spent, during a period, expenditure. Verb, to pay out, money. 17. Numeral, the cardinal number occurring after 16 and before 18. Represented in Roman numerals as 17 and in Arabic numerals as 17. Raincoat. Noun, a waterproof coat to be worn in the rain. Go. Noun, the act of going. Verb, to move. Adjective. Working correctly and ready to commence operation. Approved and able to be put into action. Airplane. Noun. A powered heavier than air aircraft with fixed wings. Verb. To fly in an aeroplane. Pragmatism. Noun. The pursuit of practicality over aesthetic qualities. A concentration on facts rather than emotions or ideals. Bills. Noun. Any of various bladed or pointed hand weapons. Originally designating an Anglo-Saxon sword. And later a weapon of infantry. 
especially in the 14th and 15th centuries, commonly consisting of a broad, heavy, double-edged, hook-shaped blade, with a short pike at the back and another at the top, attached to the end of a long staff, verb, to dig, chop, etc., with a bill, noun, the beak of a bird, especially when small or flattish, sometimes also used with reference to a platypus, turtle, or other animal, verb, to peck, noun, a written list or inventory, now obsolete except in specific senses or set phrases, bill of lading, bill of goods, etc., verb, to advertise by a bill or public notice, noun, the bell, or boom, of the bittern, sounds, noun, a sensation perceived by the ear caused by the vibration of air or some other medium. Verb. To produce a sound. Noun. A long narrow inlet. Or a strait between the mainland and an island. Also. A strait connecting two seas. Or connecting a sea or lake with the ocean. Noun. A long. Thin probe for sounding body cavities or canals such as the urethra. Noun. An instrument for probing or dilating. A sonda. Verb. Dive downwards. Used of a whale. Foods. Noun. Any solid substance that can be consumed by living organisms. Especially by eating. In order to sustain life. Blue fish. Noun. A voracious fish. Pomatomus saltatrix. Found in waters of the Atlantic and Indian Ocean. Bank. Noun. An institution where one can place and borrow money and take care of financial affairs. Verb. To deal with a bank or financial institution. Or for an institution to provide financial services to a client. Movements. Noun. Physical motion between points in space. Federal. Noun. A law enforcement official of the FBI. A federal agent. Adjective. Pertaining to a league or treaty. Derived from an agreement or covenant between parties. Especially between nations. Lesson. Noun. A section of learning or teaching into which a wider learning content is divided. Verb. To give a lesson to. To teach. Personnel. Noun. Employees. Office staff. Shift. Noun. A modifier key whose main function is shifting between two or more functions of any of certain. Other keys. Usually by pressing shift and the other button simultaneously. Noun. A type of women's undergarment. A slip. Verb. Sometimes figurative. To move from one place to another. To redistribute. Chairs. Noun. An item of furniture used to sit on or in. Comprising a seat. Legs. Back. And sometimes arm rests. For use by one person. Compare stool, couch, sofa, settee, loveseat and bench. Verb. To act as chairperson at. To preside over. Noun. A chairman or chairwoman. Someone who presides over a meeting. Board. Etc. Noun. A chair-like device used for performing execution by electrocution. Sentence. Noun. The decision or judgment of a jury or court. A verdict. Verb. To declare a sentence on a convicted person. To doom. To condemn to punishment. Flexibility. Noun. The quality of being flexible. Suppleness. Pliability. Brightly. Adverb. In a bright manner. Banner. Noun. A flag or standard used by a military commander. Monarch or nation. Verb. To adorn with a banner. Adjective. Exceptional. Very good. Grooming. Verb. To attend to one's appearance and clothing. Noun. Care for one's personal appearance. Hygiene. And clothing. Launch. Noun. The movement of a vessel from land into the water. Especially. The sliding on ways from the stocks on which it is built. Compare. To splash a ship. Verb. To throw. A projectile such as a lance. Dart or ball. To hurl. To propel with force. Fridge. Noun. A refrigerator. Verb. To place inside of a refrigerator. Scope. Noun. The breadth. 
depth or reach of a subject, a domain, verb, to perform a cursory investigation of, scope out, pencil, noun, a paintbrush, verb, to write, something, using a pencil, demolition, noun, the process of demolishing or destroying buildings or other structures, puppet, noun, any small model of a person or animal able to be moved by strings or rods, or in the form of a glove, recipe, noun, a formula for preparing or using a medicine, a prescription, also, a medicine prepared from such instructions, earring, noun, a piece of jewelry worn on the ear, impatient, adjective, restless and intolerant of delays, contains, verb, to hold inside, puppy, noun, a young dog, especially before sexual maturity, 12 to 18 months, verb, to bring forth whelps or give birth to pups, o, noun, an utterance of o, a spoken expression of surprise, acknowledgement, etc., verb, to utter the interjection o, to express surprise, etc., interjection, expression of surprise, picnics, noun, an informal social gathering, usually in a natural outdoor setting, to which the participants bring their own food and drink, verb, to take part in a picnic, drummer, noun, one who plays the drums, guider, noun, one who guides, awake, adjective, not asleep, conscious, essential, noun, a necessary ingredient, adjective, necessary, species, noun, type or kind, compare race, signed, verb, to make a mark, adjective, having a signature, endorsed, large, noun, an old musical note, equal to two longas, four briefs, or eight semi-briefs, adjective, of considerable or relatively great size or extent, adverb, before the wind, disability, noun, state of being disabled, deprivation or one of ability, absence of competent physical, intellectual, or moral power, means, fitness, and the like, accounting, verb, to provide explanation, noun, the development and use of a system for recording and analyzing the financial transactions and financial status of an individual or a business, adjective, of or relating to accounting, meditation, noun, a devotional exercise of, or leading to contemplation, scientific, adjective, of, or having to do with science, business, noun, a specific commercial enterprise or establishment, adjective, of, to, pertaining to or utilized for purposes of conducting trade, commerce, governance, advocacy or other professional purposes, dominated, verb, to govern, rule or control by superior authority or power, medical, noun, a medical examination, adjective, of or pertaining to the practice of medicine, blue, verb, to produce an air current, verb, to blossom, to cause to bloom or blossom, noun, the color of the clear sky or the deep sea, between green and violet in the visible spectrum, and one of the primary additive colors for transmitted light, the color obtained by subtracting red and green from white light using magenta and cyan filters, or any color resembling this, adjective, of the color blue, adjective, entertainment, pornographic or profane, sincere, adjective, genuine, meaning what one says or does, heartfelt, defective, noun, a person or thing considered to be defective, adjective, having one or more defects, kidnap, noun, the crime, or an instance, of kidnapping, verb, to seize and detain a person unlawfully, sometimes for ransom, simply, adverb, manner, in a simple way or state, considered in or by itself, without addition, alone, block, noun, a substantial, often approximately cuboid, piece of any substance, verb, to fill, something, 
so that it is not possible to pass. Decide. Verb. To resolve. A contest. Problem. Dispute. Etc. To choose. Determine. Or settle. Carving. Verb. To cut. Noun. A carved object. Obtained. Verb. To get hold of. To gain possession of. To procure. To acquire. In any way. Disappearance. Noun. The action of disappearing or vanishing. Contempt. Noun. The state or act of contemning. The feeling or attitude of regarding someone or something as inferior. Base. Or worthless. Scorn. Disdain. Abortion. Noun. The expulsion from the womb of a fetus or embryo before it is fully developed. With loss of the fetus. Either naturally as a spontaneous abortion. Now usually called a miscarriage. Or deliberately as an induced abortion. Handsome. Verb. To render handsome. Adjective. Of people. Things. Etc. Having a good appearance. Good looking. Dine. Noun. Dinner time. Verb. To eat. To eat dinner or supper. Ninth. Noun. The person or thing in the ninth position. Verb. To lose a ninth. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number nine. Peer. Noun. A look. A glance. Verb. To look with difficulty, or as if searching for something. Presence. Noun. The fact or condition of being present. Or of being within sight or call. Or at hand. Verb. To make or become present. Noun. Audio. The ambient sounds in a room or on a set. Soundly. Adverb. In a thorough manner. In manner free of defect or deficiency. Seventeenth. Noun. One of seventeen equal parts of a whole. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number seventeen. Laser. Noun. A device that produces a monochromatic. Coherent beam of light. Verb. To cut with a laser. Mandarin. Noun. A high government bureaucrat of the Chinese Empire. Adjective. Pertaining to or reminiscent of mandarins. Deliberately superior or complex. Esoteric. Highbrow. Obscurantist. Noun. A perching duck that has a red bill. Large white crescent above the eye and reddish face. Ex galariculata. Beekeeper. Noun. A person who maintains hives and keeps bees, especially for the production of honey. Programming. Verb. To enter a program or other instructions into a computer or other electronic device. To instruct it to do a particular task. Noun. The designing, scheduling or planning of a radio or television program. Program. Exhausted. Verb. To draw or let out wholly. To drain off completely. Adjective. Very tired. In a state of exhaustion. Bucket. Noun. A container made of rigid material. Often with a handle. Used to carry liquids or small items. Verb. To place inside a bucket. Approve. Verb. To sanction officially. To ratify. To confirm. To set as satisfactory. Neighbor. Noun. A person living on adjacent or nearby land. A person situated adjacently or nearby. Anything. Of the same type of thing as the subject. In an adjacent or nearby position. Verb. To be adjacent to. Component. Noun. A smaller. Self-contained part of a larger entity. Often refers to a manufactured object that is part of a larger device. Adjective. Making up a larger whole. As a component word. Motorway. Noun. Parts of Australia. A broad highway designed for high-speed traffic. Having restrictions on the vehicle types permitted and merging lanes instead of cross-traffic. In parts of the United States and other places called freeway. Fit. Noun. The degree to which something fits. Verb. To be suitable for. Adjective. Suitable. Proper. Sleep. Verb. To rest in a state of reduced consciousness. Bed. Noun. A piece of furniture, usually flat and soft, on which to rest or sleep. Verb. Senses relating to a bed as a place for resting or sleeping.
German. Noun. A near relative. Adjective. Having the same mother and father. A full. Brother or sister. Exploit. Noun. A heroic or extraordinary deed. Verb. To use for one's own advantage. Mover. Noun. Someone who or something that moves. Ottoman. Noun. An upholstered sofa. Without arms or a back. Sometimes with a compartment for storing linen. Etc. Conductor. Noun. One who conducts or leads. A guide. A director. Girl. Noun. A female child. Adolescent. Or a young woman. Verb. To feminize or girlify. To gender as a girl or as for girls. None. Noun. A person without religious affiliation. Adverb. To no extent. In no way. Pronoun. Not any of a given number or group. Lucky. Adjective. Of people. Favored by luck. Fortunate. Having good success or good fortune. Apples. Noun. A common. Round fruit produced by the tree Malus domestica. Cultivated in temperate climates. Verb. To become apple-like. Inspires. Verb. To infuse into the mind. To communicate to the spirit. To convey. As by a divine or supernatural influence. To disclose preternaturally. To produce in. As by inspiration. Civilization. Noun. An organized culture encompassing many communities. Often on the scale of a nation or a people. A stage or system of social. Political or technical development. Proper noun. Collectively. Those people of the world considered to have a high standard of behavior and, or a high level of development. Commonly subjectively used by people of one society to exclusively refer to their society. Or their elite subgroup. Or a few associated societies. Implying all others. In time or geography or status. As something less than civilized. As savages or barbarians. CF refinement. Elitism. Civilized society. The civilized world. Promised. Verb. To commit to. Some action or outcome. Or to assure. A person. Of such commitment. To make an oath or vow. Adjective. Predicted. Expected. Anticipated. Dispatcher. Noun. A message sent quickly. As a shipment. A prompt settlement of a business. Or an important official message sent by a diplomat. Or military officer. Noun. In a transportation organization. A person who controls the movements of vehicles. Separated. Verb. To divide. A thing. Into separate parts. Adjective. Detached. Not connected or joined. Two or more things stand apart. Careless. Adjective. Not concerned or worried. About. Disappear. Verb. To vanish. Controversial. Adjective. Arousing controversy. A debate or discussion of opposing opinions. Badly. Adjective. Ill. Unwell. Adverb. In a bad manner. Spooky. Adjective. Eerie. Or suggestive of ghosts or the supernatural. Barrel. Noun. A round vessel or cask. Of greater length than breadth. And bulging in the middle. Made of staves bound with hoops. And having flat ends or heads. Sometimes applied to a similar cylindrical container made of metal. Usually called a drum. Verb. To put or to pack in a barrel or barrels. Climbed. Verb. To ascend. Rise. To go up. Leave out. Verb. To omit. To not include. To neglect to mention. Simply. Adverb. Manner, in a simple way or state, considered in or by itself, without addition, alone. Sagas. Noun. An Old Norse. Icelandic. Prose narrative. Especially one dealing with family or social histories and legends. Recommends. Verb. To bestow commendation on. To represent favorably. To suggest. Endorse or encourage as an appropriate choice. Instance. Noun. Urgency of manner or words. An urgent request. Insistence. Verb. To mention as a case or example. To refer to. 
to cite, diversify, verb, to make diverse or various in form or quality, to give variety to distinguish by numerous differences or aspects, initiated, verb, to begin, to start, shirts, noun, an article of clothing that is worn on the upper part of the body, and often has sleeves, either long or short, that cover the arms, exploit, noun, a heroic or extraordinary deed, verb, to use for one's own advantage, fever, noun, a higher than normal body temperature of a person, or, generally, a mammal, usually caused by disease, verb, to put into a fever, to affect with fever, donkey, noun, a domestic animal, equus asinus asinus, similar to a horse, hated, verb, to dislike intensely or greatly, adjective, disliked, odious, reviled, beaches, noun, the shore of a body of water, especially when sandy or pebbly, verb, to run aground on a beach, noun, a gravel-filled zone on a racetrack, used as a hazard, exclusionary region, and safety device to slow down and trap vehicles, setup, noun, equipment designed for a particular purpose, an apparatus, rough, noun, the unmowed part of a golf course, verb, to create in an approximate form, adjective, not smooth, uneven, adverb, in a rough manner, rudely, roughly, cartoon, noun, a humorous drawing, often with a caption, or a strip of such drawings, verb, to draw a cartoon, a humorous drawing, half, noun, one of two usually roughly equal parts into which anything may be divided, are considered as divided, verb, to have, adjective, consisting of a half, one half, 50%, adverb, in two equal parts or to an equal degree, preposition, a half hour after, 30 minutes after, used with the number of the hour, between, noun, a kind of needle, shorter than a sharp, with a small rounded eye, used for making fine stitches on heavy fabrics, preposition, in the position or interval that separates, two things, or intermediate in quantity or degree, see usage notes below, classical, noun, one that is classical in some way, for example, a classical economist, adjective, of or relating to the first class or rank, especially in literature or art, deemed, verb, to judge, to pass judgment on, to doom, to sentence, adjective, an accreditation awarded to higher educational institutions in India, clicks, noun, a brief, sharp, not particularly loud, relatively high-pitched sound produced by the impact of something small and hard against something hard, such as by the operation of a switch, a lock or a latch, or a finger pressed against the thumb and then released to strike the hand. Verb, to cause to make a click, to operate, a switch, etc., so that it makes a click. Noun, a detent, paul, or ratchet, such as that which catches the cogs of a ratchet wheel to prevent backward motion. Verb, to snatch. Noun, a kilometer. Football. Noun, general, a sport played on foot in which teams attempt to get a ball into a goal or zone defended by the other team. Verb, to play football. Prioritize. Verb, to arrange or list a group of things in order of priority or importance. Settled. Verb, to conclude or resolve. Something. Adjective, comfortable and at ease especially after a period of change or unrest. Cutter. Noun, a person or device that cuts, in various senses. Float. Noun, a buoyant device used to support something in water or another liquid. Verb, of an object or substance. To be supported by a liquid of greater density than the object so as that part of the object or substance remains above the surface. Roll. Noun, a character or part played by a performer or actor.
counselor. Noun, a professional who counsels people, especially on personal problems. Cyclist. Noun, a person who rides a cycle, especially a bicycle, or who habitually engages in cycling. Mindfulness. Noun, awareness. Astronomer. Noun, one who studies astronomy, the stars or the physical universe. A scientist whose area of research is astronomy or astrophysics. Interaction. Noun. The situation or occurrence in which two or more objects or events act upon one another to produce a new effect. The effect resulting from such a situation or occurrence. Convinced. Verb. To make someone believe or feel sure about something, especially by using logic, argument or evidence. Adjective. In a state of believing especially from evidence but not necessarily government noun the body with the power to make and or enforce laws to control a country land area people or organization specialty noun that in which one specializes a chosen expertise or talent parties noun a person or group of people constituting a particular side in a contract or legal action verb to celebrate at a party. To have fun. To enjoy oneself. Amount. Noun. The total. Aggregate or sum of material. Not applicable to discrete numbers or units or items in standard English. Verb. Followed by to. To total or evaluate. Camp. Noun. An outdoor place acting as temporary accommodation in tents or other temporary structures. Verb. To live in a tent or similar temporary accommodation. Mosque. Noun. A place of worship for Muslims, often having at least one minaret. A masjid. Occurs. Verb. To happen or take place. Annoy. Noun. A feeling of discomfort or vexation caused by what one dislikes. Verb. To disturb or irritate, especially by continued or repeated acts. To bother with unpleasant deeds. Payments. Noun. The act of paying. Acceptable. Adjective. Worthy. Decent. Sure of being accepted or received with at least moderate pleasure. Bloom. Noun. A blossom. The flower of a plant. An expanded bud. Contractor. Noun. A person or company that builds or improves buildings. Monkey. Noun. Any member of the clade simiforms not also of the clade hominoidea containing humans and apes. From which they are usually, but not universally, distinguished by smaller size. A tail. And cheek pouches. Verb. To meddle. To mess. With. Associated. Verb. To join in or form a league. Union. Or association. Adjective. Of a person or thing. Connected with something or another person. Probability. Noun. The state of being probable. Likelihood. Shaved. Verb. To make bald or shorter by using a tool such as a razor or pair of electric clippers to cut the hair close to the skin. Deprecated. Verb. To belittle or express disapproval of. Adjective. Strongly disapproved of. Nurturing. Verb. To nourish or nurse. Easygoing. Adjective. Of a person. Calm, relaxed, casual and informal. Procedures. Noun. A particular method for performing a task. Provides. Verb. To make a living. Earn money for necessities. Accessible. Adjective. Easy of access or approach. Responses. Noun. An answer or reply or something in the nature of an answer or reply. Shaped. Verb. To create or make. Adjective. Having been given a shape. Especially a curved shape. Handbag. Noun. Mainly commonwealth. A small bag used by women. Or sometimes by men. For carrying various small personal items. Verb. Figuratively. To hit with a handbag. To attack verbally or subject to criticism. Used of Margaret Thatcher. Courage. Noun. The quality of being confident. Not afraid or easily intimidated. 
but without being incautious or inconsiderate. Verb. To encourage. Order. Noun. Arrangement, disposition, or sequence. Verb. To set in some sort of order. Canister. Noun. A cylindrical or rectangular container usually of lightweight metal. Plastic. Or laminated pasteboard used for holding a dry product. As tea. Crackers. Flour. Matches. Verb. To pack into a canister. Found. Verb. To encounter or discover by accident. To happen upon. Noun. Food and lodging. Board. Consequential. Adjective. Following as a result. Make. Noun. Brand or kind. Model. Verb. To create. Allocate. Verb. To set aside for a purpose. Landscape. Noun. A portion of land or territory which the eye can comprehend in a single view. Including all the objects it contains. Verb. To create or maintain a landscape. Applicator. Noun. A tool or device used to apply a fluid or semi-fluid substance to a surface. Sessions. Noun. An informal gathering of musicians to play music. Especially improvised jazz or a similar genre. Noun. A period devoted to a particular activity. E.g. the annual or semi-annual periods of a legislative body. That together comprise the legislative term. Whose individual meetings are also called sessions. Salary. Noun. A fixed amount of money paid to a worker. Usually calculated on a monthly or annual basis. Not hourly. As wages. Implies a degree of professionalism and or autonomy. Verb. To pay on the basis of a period of a week or longer. Especially to convert from another form of compensation. Adjective. Saline. Overlap. Noun. Something that overlaps or is overlapped. Verb. To extend over and partly cover something. Oxygen. Noun. The chemical element. Symbol O. With an atomic number of 8 and relative atomic mass of 15.9994. It is a colorless and odorless gas.